Hi everybody, it's Susan Marshawn, The Techie Mentor. Thank you for stopping back over to watch my third video blog. And I say it's getting a little easier each time. So if you're thinking about doing video, you know, if I can do it, you can. So give it a try. It really does get easier the more that you do it. So today's topic is all about boundaries. And this is something that I think is so important that any business owner, whether you're a VA or a coach or whatever you may be doing, Boundaries are something that you have to set when you're a business owner. One of the biggest things that I think um, you have to relearn when you leave um, the employee world and become a business owner is that you're going from a structured environment. So as an employee, you have a very structured environment that you work in. You know, you're told when to come to work and when to leave, when to take lunch, who you work with, what you do. All of that is dictated by your employer. So it's a very structured environment. When you leave and you become a business owner, there's no structure. There's zip, there's none. You have to create that structure. And if you don't have the background um, where you've done things like putting policies and procedures in place, it might be a little um, overwhelming. So what you have to realize is that you're gonna have to put boundaries in place. And boundaries are not just with your business um, or your clients, I should say, but it's also with family and friends. So there has to be some clear boundaries that you need to set. So first thing you wanna think of is, is okay, when I set my boundaries, and boundaries would be things like, you know, you don't work nights, you don't work weekends, you don't work Fridays, or you don't do client work on Fridays, or you only work certain days of the week or certain times. Those are your boundaries. So think of your employee world and the things that were set for you. Well, you need to set those things for yourself when you have your own business. So those are your boundaries and that's your structure. Remember, your structure is going to be missing when you come home unless you create it. Now, the other thing that can happen is if you don't set boundaries yourself, sometimes your clients will set them for you. And that's really not why you have a business. You don't want somebody else setting your boundaries or telling you when you work and, and uh, what you do, which was a mistake I made when I quit my job. I just needed anybody with a wallet to, you know, I just took any clients with a wallet and, and I didn't understand that I needed structure. Um, and so I let them kind of tell me when I worked and when I didn't. And what happens is, is if you do that, you're gonna burn out. Right? And again, it's like having a job. I was working harder and longer when I came home um, from my corporate job and started my business because I didn't put any boundaries in place. I didn't realize that I have the freedom to make those choices and that's part of being a business owner. So boundaries are real important. You need to make sure that you set those boundaries. So think about, um, you know, if you take vacation, do you have someone that covers for you? Last week we talked about trusted partners and that'd be a perfect example of when you'd wanna use one of those. If you haven't watched it, you know, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel here, or if you're watching this on my website, you can also jump over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. But that blo uh, video blog from last week is on trusted partners. So you might want to give that a watch. Anyway, back to boundaries. So you want to make sure you set your boundaries and things like the hours that you work, the days that you work, anything like that. One of the things that we do when we come home and start working for ourselves is we want flexibility. You drive that flexibility. You choose when you work and when you don't. So make sure that you set those boundaries and they're communicated to your clients. Um, a lot of people put those type of things in a contract, but let's be honest, how many people actually read a contract before they sign it? Not many. So what I actually um, think you should do is create a business policies document. This is something that I did for my business. And basically it has a lot of the same thing the contract has, but it's in a document that's easier to read and I actually use that as part of my kickoff call when I start with a new client. I send that to them as part of my welcome packet. So I fill that out and then I go over it with them, especially things like if you charge an urgent fee or um, you know you have strange work hours, right? You wanna make sure your clients are understand that. And especially if you have anything that does with money, make sure they understand that. So you wanna make sure again that you set your boundaries. You wanna make sure that they're communicated to your clients as well as your family and friends. And also that they're clear, right? So there's no gray area that people could wiggle through. One of the things that is really important when it comes to boundaries is pricing, right? That's a, that's a boundary. You work for a certain amount of money per hour or per package. Don't let clients wiggle through that and have you lower your rate because then you're setting an expectation. So prices is also part of your boundaries. And as I mentioned, one of the biggest mistakes I made when I came out of corporate and started my own business was I didn't set any boundaries and I found clients that were willing to do that for me. And the problem with that is then, again, it's like a job, you burn out, 
So you want to make sure that you take the time to set your boundaries. And as I mentioned, I have that wonderful um, business policies document that I use. I actually have a template on my website. If you're interested, you can certainly stop over. It actually has sections in it that are pre-filled just to kind of give you some examples. Um, might be something you want to take a look at because it really does help your clients understand how you run your business because it's your business, not theirs. And if you don't set those boundaries, they're going to do it for you. And I'd hate for you to think that you have a job when it's your business because that's not what we all started our business for. So set your boundaries, make sure they're clear and make sure they're communicated to not only clients, but also to your friends and family. One of the things I will add real quick is do you want to do work with friends or family, right? That could be a boundary. Maybe you decide you don't want to do work with friends or family, your business, your choice, but that would be something that would also be part of your boundaries. And you'd want to communicate that to family and friends. Maybe you give them a discount on your rate, whatever it is, it's your decision. So make sure that that's something that's also um, documented and communicated to your clients. So one more time, real quick recap. Remember when you come home and start a business, there's no structure. Think of the structure that you had in a job and those are the boundaries that you're going to want to set for your clients and your family. You can document those in your contract, which a lot of people do, but not everybody reads that. Or you could put them in a document as well as a business policies and make sure that you um, send that information to any new clients, send them to existing clients as well, and then go over the information that's contained in there so they understand how your business runs because it is your business. The beauty of having a business is you choose when, how, how much, um, from where, all of those things are your choice and that's part of setting those boundaries. So I hope you enjoyed today. I'd love to hear from you. Um, any comments that you have? Do you have boundaries? Do you have any questions um, on how to set boundaries, pricing, anything like that? Please leave me a comment below and I will personally answer that for you. As I mentioned, I'm doing weekly blogs or vlogs. Um, now, because I hate to write, so this is actually working out better for me once I got over my stage fright. Um, and they'll be released every Wednesday, and so you can certainly subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you'll get notified when these are available to you. And I did mention the last couple of weeks that I am going to be doing one on technology, so I am going to make sure that gets out this week too. So keep your eye on that. And if there's certain technologies that you'd like how-tos on, for the video blog, please let me know. I'd be happy to fit those in my schedule. So thank you again, everybody. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and be sure to head over to my website. If you've not been there, it's uh, www.thetechymender.com and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.